Shabaka. Hi. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. Yes, good to catch you at these uh, random moments at festivals. Our paths converge once in a while. So it's oh, yeah. always beautiful. Um, I got a deep question first. What? Very, very deep. Do you appropriate the idea of the jazz tradition? Is it something you want to, an umbrella you want to come underneath? Or is it time to jettison it altogether? I mean, the jazz tradition is just a tradition of certain ideas and uh -huh. aesthetics, ways of making music. Uh -huh. That for me doesn't start in America. No. It starts further back in Africa and it doesn't finish in America. Mm -hmm. You know, America and the form that we see as jazz is one step mm -hmm. in the way of, you know, music and in the way of different communities and different ideas coming together. Absolutely. You know, and it has come together within a certain time period um, that I guess was congealed by America, mm. starting in New Orleans, stretching up to to now. Mm. But it's not the beginning. Yeah. I think one of the problems with uh, maybe swallowing American ideals in general. It's capitalism? Is, <laughs> They're capitalism. the best at selling it, yeah. packaging it and calling it theirs. Exactly. It, it, it always has to be who owns it. Like, uh, where does it begin? Yeah. And it's like, sometimes I think with elements of music, it doesn't have a particular owner. Now, obviously this becomes complicated when other people want to say they own it or, want, or when people decide to, to just kind of disrespect, you know, the intentions of people who were... Um, who are invested in it in terms yes. of like a community. Yeah. But I think that's where the, the cultural appropriation cultural and appropriation and such, mm. you know, mm. that mm. kind of matters. But mm. I think we it's worth it for artists especially to have a broader view on jazz. In terms of the word, mm. well, obviously I, I know that all my, my heroes yeah. have said they don't want the word because it's a restrictive word. It tells them more about what they can't do mm. as opposed to what they can. So Coltrane, Duke Kennington, Miles. Charlie Parker, Mar everyone. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a semantic thing. Mm -hmm. You know, like what's the point of language? Language is to express to someone an idea or you know a vision. And if you tell me, if I'm talking to you and you're saying jazz, mm -hmm mean Soweto, mm -hmm. um, I know what you mean. If I'm talking to maybe to a journalist, I might use different language to describe what I do because I don't want to use that word that's so loaded. So, yeah. so I think it just needs to come with a description. It's not about sawing any, mm. come with, 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 a, with a dialogue. It's not about sawing anything out. Wicked. It's just about expanding mm. what we think of as, you know, this word jazz tradition. <laughs> Second question. We're here at, uh, as you can tell, is a sound check of sorts with my homie Gauthier Garige à la batterie. Brap, brap. And um, various other people pulling in wires and stuff like that. You've just done one. Yeah. For the uh, acolytes of music oh, out there, cool students, <laughs> people that kind of want to know how to do it, yeah. have you got any top tips for sound checks? How yeah. to not get completely frustrated? One at a time and then shut up. It's simple. <laughs> it's, like, it's the simplest thing in the world. One person sound check at a time, then leave the room. And then another person comes in, then leave the room, and then you all play together and you get a great sound check. Wow. It's not a rehearsal. I think you might have to pick up the mic <laughs> and drop it again. <laughs> sound engineers like that bit of advice. Okay, hey, this is um, Jean Charles. Jean Charles. Lighting designer. Lighting designer. Okay. So, about lighting tonight. My tip for lighting is Have make me look idea? sexy. Very, very sexy. <laughs> if you can add muscles somehow, then great. 